Hello! In this video, we're going to go over more filters and how to apply them. So in the previous filter, uh, in the previous video, I created this filter using Blur. I'm going to go ahead and create a new copy. And um, before I do anything, I want to make sure that my colors are set to default, black and white. You can always press this little icon right here, or you can press D on your keyboard. Make sure that you have the layer selected. I have this background layer selected. And this time we're going to go into filter. And before I do anything, I want to point out that notice on the filter menu, up on top, the top right here is your last filter that you used. So keep uh, note of that. I previously used a filter gallery, so it's up here. I want to use this filter gallery with the three ellipses, uh, the dot, dot, dot. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It opens up a new window, which is uh, <laughs> on my computer. It opened it up on my other screen. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here to the side. So we get something that looks like this. And what I want to point out first, uh, looking, uh, we have our main canvas. Uh, over here in the center, we have our different filters that we could work with. And then out, down here on the bottom right, we have our kind of like our layer menu for filters. Right now, I have a filter that's called Texturize. Up on top, we have the options for that Texturize. But what I want to do with this one selected, you could click on any one of these different types of filters. And notice that as you click on these different filters, up here on the top right hand corner, the different settings will change as well. I want to point out that any filter that has this little colored sailboat is using the color that is found within your image. So say for example, I like this poster edges. You could change the thickness. Now I highly suggest that you go about uh, exp experimenting with all these different filters. You might come up with a really cool, unique uh, filter combination. When I say a filter combination, is that right here I have these posterization, uh, po this poster edge filter, and say, what if I like something that looks like this? Great. If I select OK, this is going to apply it onto my layer. I don't want to do that just yet, because at the bottom, notice that we have this little plus. You might need to click on the plus sign initially to create a new effect layer. I'm going to go and cl click it right here right now. Notice that I have two of them. The one that's selected uh, is the, the highlighted one, the slightly darker shaded one. I'm going to go ahead and select a different filter now. And now notice that I now have watercolor and poster edges. I now have smudge stick and poster edges. This is now plastic wrap palette knife. You can see that you could you could stack these up on top of one another. I'm going to hide the cutout. This is poster edges. This is what it looks like with uh, cutout applied to poster edges. You could also change the layer order and that will give you a different result. So this is where I want you to experiment really with these different filters to see what you're able to do with them. And once you find something that you like, you could select OK. Before I do that, though, I want to point out that under the, uh, was it the style? No, sketch. Notice how these are black and white. I can cut it, select the cutout. What if I select graphic pin? This is using the colors that you have. I'm just going to move my window off to the side. The colors that you have for your foreground and background color. The default was black and white. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the for a graphic pin. I want to use, was it the, um, the paint dabs, plastic wrap, palette knife. I, I don't remember the one that I have. Uh, watercolor. Cutout. Okay, I, I like the cutout. I like this. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK because I'm going to come back to this one. This effect has been applied onto this layer. Great, I'm going to hide this one temporarily. Or maybe I'm going to label it uh, filter one for my assignment. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of my original image. This time, I want to change my colors. Instead of having black as my foreground color, let me go ahead and select 
Uh, let's see, I want to select a blue color. We'll go this one, and I'm going to change my f uh, background color. Uh, I want kind of like a, this nice peach color, orange color. Complementary colors. On this layer, I'm going to go back to my filter menu. Now, I want to make note. Remember earlier when I said that up on top was the last used filter? I want to go back to the filter gallery, but I do not want to select this option. Doing so will apply the last filter exactly uh, what the settings were. If I do this, it's going to apply another filter example uh, like what I just had as such. I'm going to undo this. I don't want that. I want to go back into the filter gallery. So just make a note of that. Within the filter gallery, it brings up the last used filter combination. I'm going to hide the cutout one. I'm going to select poster edges. And I'm going to go into, is it yeah, st sketch this time? Uh, maybe I want half tone. And notice what happens. This time, because I set my foreground and background color to this blue and goldish color, it's using those colors for the colors that are going to be displayed within my image. And this is only to any of these filters that have this black and white image. What if I want uh, this stamp? Uh, I could change the light color balance, the smoothness. Uh, what if I want, let's see, let's go to charcoal. So there's different options that you're able to do with these. Uh, let's see. Let's go and is there anything stylized? No. Let's go down to texture. I just want to look at these. So I want you to have fun with these. Uh, explore. Uh, I'm going to try this stamp. Let's, uh, this is what stamp and cutout looks like. What happens if I change these around? So I'm going to change uh, cut out. What about watercolor? Paint dabs. Sumi. Dark strokes. Spray paint. Ink outlines. Uh, diffuse glow. Crack. I can't spray the word. Crackular. Mosaic tiles. Patchwork. I kind of like patchwork. So what if I make my relief or the square is a little bit smaller, or maybe larger. I like this pattern that's going on down here. Uh, what if I go back to my stamp and increase the darkness or decrease the darkness? We have something that looks like this and say, hey, you know what? I kind of like that. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. And it's applying this onto this new layer. I'm going to go ahead and re rename this to filter two. For your assignment, you're going to be creating uh, at least five different filter manipulations. I do also want to remind you that it needs to be cropped once you're done. Uh, but you're not using the Photoshop image of the week. You are using an image of yourself. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you one, yet one more filter. This is the Liquify filter. And this works best if you're using an image of yourself. So I will show you those results in the next video. I'll see you there.